Woo! Too much fun. All right, today is the day. I'm going to announce shortly what I'm going to grow for the Single Seed Challenge 2023 right here on Down Home Backyard Gardening. Now, before I get into that, this is a special day for me because I absolutely love this challenge. I love everything about it. And if you all are longtime subscribers to this channel, you know where I'm going with this. This challenge is the entire reason I started this channel. I started a YouTube channel for this reason alone. So for a little backstory, a couple, three years ago, I believe it was, a YouTuber by the name of Scott Head, he is the, he is the creator over on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. He put out this challenge to everybody to grow one seed and document the entire life cycle of that one seed. Now, I have taken this absolutely to heart. I love everything about this challenge because it's a way to teach kiddos, to get them excited for growing vegetables or flowers or whatever they want to grow, where they're not sitting in front of a screen, all that. They're out there getting dirt in their nails and you know sweating and seeing things grow. So. That is what the single seed challenge is all about. Okay, so you're going to document the entire life cycle of that seed. That means everything. If that seed doesn't grow, it doesn't grow. That's part of nature. Not everything that you plant, not all the seeds that are put out in the garden grow, right? So if you pick a seed that doesn't grow, that's part of the challenge. You show that and then you change what you're going to do to fix it. Maybe get different seeds. Maybe that seed was old. Maybe the soil was bad, whatever. But that's what's exciting about this challenge. Now, I will now, say this. Because you're gonna document the entire life cycle of that seed, what I would recommend you do is plant a seed or a plant that is an annual, which means it lives one year. Not a perennial that comes back and back and back because then you're documenting that one seed forever. I always do tomatoes because tomatoes last one growing season. Okay, so, so the other day I asked the second grade teacher, Miss Rendon, to ask her class a question. Which color do they like best? Do they like green the best or do they like orange the best? Now there's a reason I asked that question and, and all the students right now that are watching this video in her classroom know where I'm going with this. The classroom decided that green was their favorite color. So, this year, I'm gonna do something a little different with the single seed challenge that I've never done before. Now, normally I always do two seeds of the same plant and grow them side by side. But this year, we're gonna have a little fun. Because a second grade classroom picked green, they will be growing this tomato. Look at how crazy that thing looks. As you can see, it's a Phil's two. Well, I will be growing a Phil's one. Now this is kind of like an orangish yellow. Now I did tell this, the, I did ask Miss Rendon to tell them green or, or orange, because I thought this was more orange, but it's actually kind of more yellow, but it's all right. I will be growing Phil's one for my single seed challenge. And then I will also be growing Phil's two for the second grade classrooms single seed challenge this year. Excited about these tomatoes because they look crazy. Now last year I did the spoon tomato and those plants were absolutely ginormous. So I'm hoping these do the same. Now a little bit about both of these plants here. This is possibly the wildest, most eye-catching tomato they have ever seen. Kids gardens, farmers markets, and all growers who love to step outside of the ordinary will feel the gravitational pull of this extraterrestrial tomato. So, again, I'm excited to announce that for the second grade classroom. Now, the one that I'm going to be growing says basically the exact same thing that the Phil's number two said in the book. Now, this is Baker Creek's whole seed catalog for 2023. You see how thick this thing is? It's 526 pages. I went through every page looking for plants to do the single seed challenge this year. And of course, I found them in the tomato section. Very, very excited for this. This is like my Super Bowl every year. I love this challenge. And these tomatoes are pretty crazy. So I'm really excited about that. So everyone, that's all I got for today. The announcement is out. 2023's single seed challenge will be the Phil's 2 
for the second grade classroom and Phil's one for right here on Down Home Backyard Gardening. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope if anything, go back and look at some of the other videos that I have in my playlist to see what this challenge is all about. Uh, it is absolutely a teaching tool. Get your grandkids outside, get the neighborhood kids, you know, your kids, if you babysit, get them, whatever. Get the children involved. This is a teaching, teaching, teaching challenge. And again, Scott Head over on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening, we have you to thank for that, sir. So like I always say, when I bring you up, thank you for creating this. It, uh, it is just absolutely amazing. So until next time, everyone, continue to shine bright and harvest hard.